As we look, tail of the tape here. At Gennaro, we pick up tail of the tape. Concepcion, just 20, Ruiz 29. Very close, of course, Concepcion, a true super phantom at 122. Ruiz, a little light for this one. And unified rules of boxing apply here in Mexico. As we pick it up, 10 point must, of course. No three knockdown, no standing eight. Can't be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight. And in case of an accidental foul, they go to the scorecards after the fourth round happens before. It's a no decision. We are ready to go now. As we look at Barnaby Concepcion from the Philippines. We've seen him before. Let's get the official introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, good evening and welcome. Y a todos mis amigos mexicanos, bienvenidos, aficionados al box, al domo de la feria en León, Guanajuato, Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a big night of action coming your way. Asi Ruge Leon is brought to you by Top Rank Incorporated, along with Promociones Sanfer, the state of Guanajuato in the government of Leon and Tecate. At this time, we present an NABF title attraction, sancionada por el CMB, Presidente Jose Suleiman, Supervisor Alberto Reyes. Introducing our judges at ringside, presentando a los jueces, Pablo Diaz, Jorge Guerra Galvan, y Juan Jose Guerra. Our referee in charge, y el árbitro, Gelacio Perez. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the NABF Super Bantamweight Championship. Bien, amigos. 12 asaltos por el campeonato de la Federación Norteamericano. Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with purple trim. He weighed in at 119 pounds. Presentando al retador en la esquina azul, vestido en pantalón negro y pesando 54 kilos, 100 gramos. His record, 21 wins, four losses, with six wins coming by way of knockout. Con un record de 21 victorias y cuatro derrotas, tiene seis ganadas por knockout. Demos la bienvenida al retador de Santa Clarita, California, y León, Guanajuato, Mexico, Juan El Fénix Ruiz. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim. He weighed in at 122 pounds. Y su rival, el campeón en la esquina roja, con pantalón negro con franja de oro, pesando 55 kilos, 300 gramos. His record, 23 wins, one loss, and one draw, with 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Tiene un record de 23 victorias, una derrota y un empate con 13 ganadas por knockout. Here is the defending NABF Super Betamoy champion from Rizal in the Philippines. Demos la bienvenida al campeón Bernabe Concepcion. Y aquí está el referí Gelacio Pérez. Peleador. <coughs> bueno, pues ya les di las indicaciones. Vamos a hacer una pelea emotiva de acuerdo a su categoría, no golpeando hacia abajo ni con la cabeza ni en la nuca. Dense la mano que gane el mejor. Dense. Okay. 
Here we go. Leon Mexico, Nick Charles, Gennaro Hernandez, Wally Matthews. Ringside and ready to go. Burnaby Concepcion. 11 by the WBC, ranked uh, 12th by the WBO, just 20 years old. We've seen him before, a very impressive, aggressive counterpuncher, he calls himself. Still a work in progress, though. Well, the other thing that he is, Nick, is a guy who likes to fight in close. I'm kind of surprised that Ruiz, who the record tells us is not really a puncher, is choosing to fight in close with Concepcion. This seems to be where Concepcion loves to fight. Well, his new trainer, Larry Goosen, said he wants him really basically to pin his head to the chest of Concepcion and get inside and stay inside. Interesting theory. Yeah, because he's certainly not a power puncher. But in Ruiz's favor, he is definitely a durable guy, never been stopped. But just six KOs in 25 fights. Well, right away, as soon as the bell rang, the first thing he did was go right after Concepcion. So that kind of showed the, the rhythm he was going to try and impose on Concepcion. Which, by the way, Wally and Nick, if you look at the shoes of Concepcion, he has the name of Pac-Man, huh. Manny Pacquiao. Well, he's his co-manager, I suppose, right? Well, yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's, so. in, he's in the mix there. Yeah, nice right hand from Concepcion. Does this play into Concepcion's? You know, Concepcion's aggressive, but he says he's hey, a counterpuncher, oh, oh. so let Ruiz come to him. Did right? you see that? Yeah, that was leading with your head. Oh. That was flagrant, I would say. They should have taken a point away from him right yeah, there. That was a flagrant foul. Concepcion, big time with the left hook. But again, to amplify that point. With Ruiz coming on, he's using Ruiz's aggression against him nicely. He's really timing those rushes. Concepcion on the left. Letting Ruiz come to him, and now left hook keeps him away. Now we see Concepcion get on the jab. Double hook. Ruiz walking in without punching. Mistake, huh? Well, he's covered up pretty good. He's using good left. Uh, did his own good right hand there. I think that's the reason why they wanted to stay in close. To he smother. didn't want, yes, to smother the power from Concepcion. But he should be punching on the way out a little bit. Well, now he is. That's a dangerous philosophy, though. I mean, I, I know exactly what you're saying, Gennaro, but it, it's just, it's really chancy because if he gets the distance wrong, he gets nailed like he just did. I think Concepcion's loving this type of fight. Well, you know, you, you gotta, uh, with, a, with a fight like, like Concepcion, who, who likes to be fighting at his distance and not get smothered. Sometimes you want to make a fight a little dirty, that way you can kind of throw him off his game plan. And I think that's what Ruiz is trying to do right now. Yeah, but Ruiz there to be hit. Boy, just trying that left hand a little bit now, but trying to pull his way in and trying to pin his head to the chest of Concepcion. So he has gotten inside and he's staying there. And, he's, up, and he's actually using his shoulder. Shoulder, shoulder yeah. right. Well, a good round for Concepcion. Even though he came out with the bloody nose. Well, yeah. I thought it was a hard round to score, quite honestly. Boy. Big I'm right hand by Concepcion, but otherwise, you know, a lot of aggression from, from Ruiz. Yeah. I'll go Concepcion. Yeah, me too. I don't think it was effective at all. And I like a couple of left hooks that Concepcion landed, too. They attended that cut in the corner. And Larry Goosen urging Ruiz not to just walk in straight. Be a little bit more elusive. That's the only way, okay? He's doing it to you, right? Nice, I like that with the head like you did. That was cool. Well, Ruiz never really had a, a full-time trainer until now. Now take a look at some of the first round action. And you see that Concepcion, clearly the heavier puncher, loves to rip to the body. We'll see that, uh, I believe we're going to see the right hand. But you see that Ruiz, not afraid, and he was using the elbow, as you said, Gennaro, but firing right in there with Concepcion, which could turn out to be very, very dangerous. Oh. And look at, the, look at the stool they had right there for their fighter, for Concepcion. Yeah. Cushion. <laughs> <laughs> easy well, night? I don't think so. Not here in Mexico. I guess they couldn't fit an easy chair. You know, I walked this off unofficially inside the ropes. It's uh, 16, 16 feet. So small ring just at the limit, at the downsize limit, and a very soft cushion. So definitely a puncher's ring. Yeah, right here you can see that Reese is just going right after Concepcion. He wants to make it a, uh, a fight where he's going to smother him and try to get him tired and pulls that power. Right. Are you surprised, you know? I'm kind of surprised that he's forcing the fight this way. That's what Larry Goosen told him. He wants him to do this, I thought, Wally. Well, 
A lot of times what a trainer wants, not what a fighter does. I don't think it's really all he can do. He doesn't have much of a jab. He's got to get inside. Well, you know, a lot of times too, you know, you want to you want to impose the the rhythm of the fight due to the fact that maybe good right up because I don't let the conception almost landed there. But you know, they tense up so much to try to throw everything with power that when you do that, the, the later rounds it starts wearing you down. So maybe that's one of the reasons why they're they're imposing that type of style of fight on Concepcion. Ruiz drilled Concepcion with a right hand, but then a nice left hook as uh, Concepcion returns fire. And that's the kind of work they want from Ruiz. So maybe dangerous, but so far effective. Right hand with a draw. That was flush. You can hear it here. They're in front of us now. And Ruiz got a boatload of confidence as he cracks to the body and with that right hand. His right hand has been very effective. Now it's Concepcion opening up a little bit. And you see he's pushing away to try to get that in. distance, yeah. That's what you got to do against a fighter like Concepcion. Don't stay in front of him. Land a couple of shots and sidestep. Move away, because you know he's waiting for that right hand. To come. He wants to land that right hand. Ruiz lands a left hook, so a big round for him. Yeah, see, yeah. now, Concepcion has gotten his distance a couple of times by shoving him away, but he's not punching. Right. He's not having a good round. He might have got stung by that right hand. Oh, look at that hand. Missed that left uppercut. Should Concepcion be using the ring more? Oh, he used to try to fight his style right there and not let Ruiz get to that point where he's able to lean that body on so him. So sharp shoot him a little bit from outside. Well, you know, take a little step back and, and counter That's him the, with some shot. Like right there, counter so him with something. He didn't do it. Right. He had the opportunity and he let it go right there. Maybe He's having a little bit of a slow start. I agree. Three. Round, round two of a scheduled 12 rounder. And three right up because four right up because landed by Ruiz. Ruiz, big round for him. He's on the left, not a big knockout artist, but a durable guy. He had never been stopped. There's a forearm push right there by Concepcion. <laughs> I was close to giving the first round to Ruiz, and you, you guys shouted me down, and I weakened. <laughs> but I'll stay with it. No doubt on the second, huh? No. Not here. I like that. Bing, 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 bing. Boom, boom, boom. Follow with the uppercut. Right? Follow it. Get on his ass. You said Indian red. Bing, 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 bing. Good. Deep breath. Huh? Then go now. The other one I can do it. Go, please. Barnaby Concepcion off his stool. He's got to get back in this fight. Had that round taken away. Now come out jabbing, and here's that shoulder work. A little bit of forearm shiver from Ruiz. So he's playing rough stuff, guys. A rough and, and actually dirty. He did it in the first round. He used his head in the first round and did the shoulder and elbow maneuver a couple of times in the second. Hasn't been warned at all. Referee letting him fight. There has been there have been no clinches that I could recall. Now Concepcion back on the ropes as he grazes the ropes. And now a good spin move. Takes the fight to the ropes too much, allows himself to stay there. Big banging left hook from Concepcion. He tries the right uppercut, whistles by. Oh, oh that was a low, low there. And now that was uh, north of the border. He followed up with those hooks. So Concepcion landing with the hooks. Well, yeah. you, you know what? I'll tell you what, Ruiz kept coming forward. You got to give it to him. He got hit with some hard shots, and he didn't take a step back. A durable guy. Concepcion, good body puncher, though. Well, you just got to go and continue putting that pressure on, on Concepcion because I think if he continues to do that, I think Conce Concepcion is going to wear down. And you know, it's going to be a better interesting fight for Ruiz. And yeah. he's pretty much staked out his territory, Ruiz. You know, if you change his tactics now, it's kind of yeah. it's going to tell Concepcion this guy can't keep this right. up. Right. There'd be no reason unless he gets gassed to, to, to back off. He's neutralizing a lot of stuff from Concepcion. But again, with it this close, what should Concepcion be doing to create space? 
Concepcion while he, like right there. Just step to the side, step to your step to your right, push him out the way, and counter with a left hook, with a left up or a right cross. I mean, like right there. Instead of doing it that way, he should have done it the other way, where he would have been in better stance. So very good. Just, very very right up across. Across. Step to the side and, and delivered there. And as Ruiz comes forward, maybe take that step back, as you said, and nail him when he's reaching. I mean, look at look at Ruiz's uh, left right hand. I mean. His right glove is on his chest. He could get countered by a left hook right there. Right there. He could have got it. That's Concepcion's best punch. I'm really surprised he's not using him more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he's an excellent counter puncher. But he just doesn't seem to be in it now. He's had the play taken out of it a little bit. Taken away from him. Concepcion back against the ropes. And Juan Ruiz with a head of steam again. Speaking of a head. He banged heads with him twice since he said that. I mean, it's the third glove in there. Ruiz, not much of a, of a puncher, really, but he has connected uh, that right hand to the body very well. Good left hand from Concepcion, but he's standing in front of Ruiz. Ruiz with his head leaning and uh, maybe ripe for an uppercut there if he doesn't keep his hands up. And Concepcion has been very close in landing that right uppercut. Good work right from uh, Ruiz. Referee hasn't broken him once. He has, it was a good, it was a good round. That's a tough one to call. What do you say? I liked Ruiz. Return of Tommy Morrison. The saga continues. Morrison is up wow. next in a four-round heavyweight fight. We'll get a, look, get a look at him next. And now you're looking at Larry Goosen. Motivating uh, Juan Ruiz, who's had a good fight so far against the heavy favorite Bernabe Concepcion. Shoulder to shoulder. There it is. They want him right on Concepcion's chest, but be a little bit more elusive to get inside. Don't get hit so much. I don't think he has been getting hit so much, though. Not the last couple rounds. He's, got, he's gotten hit with isolated, really hard shots, but he hasn't been hit with anything, you know, yeah. in real succession. Well, he had that low blow. We're going to see a couple of shots right here. Landed pretty good. Look at that. Right hand is that, though. I mean, he could have got kind of a good right, uh, left up by Concepcion to the midsection. Man, Concepcion body in terms of looking fit, huh? He looks just rock solid shape. He better be because Ruiz was not has not taken a step back. And right here he continues putting the pressure on him. I love that. Using the head. Head butts again. Yeah, another one. That's the second him about time it. right there. Second time. One right? point taken away. For a flagrant foul. Look at that. Good call. Yep. He was warned. And you know what? It's very early, guys, and it's a 12-round fight. But that's yeah, not a good idea because Ruiz uh, oh. basically just pulls it into an even fight. And I suggest his manager stay off the yeah. off of it, or else they're gonna rule this fight. Yeah, Larry, uh, Larry, Go Larry Goose almost in the ring. Well, Ruiz. He's up on the road. They, they, they disqualified. Yeah, well, Larry Goosen with the one gun salute for the referee. <laughs> you are number one. That doesn't make too many points with the ref. <laughs> Meantime, oh, you know right. what? Concepcion is doing now what Denaro said last round. He's actually making his own space where he was for a few seconds there. Yeah, he's got to create that kind of distance or run, run Ruiz into some shots. Good low blow right there by Ruiz. Obviously, the referee didn't say nothing about that. Concepcion obviously told Ruiz to pick him up. Concepcion misses with that hook. So Ruiz fighting small, isn't he? He's really down there. Two powerful shots right there by Concepcion. Yeah. That damn land. And Ruiz really off balance and uh, there to be hit a couple times. Something just doesn't seem right with Concepcion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it may just be that he's not used to this kind of, to, to a guy coming at him like this. Well, he had, he's uh, coming off two straight stoppages. Not too many guys pressure him. And that's sometimes what you have to do to to a bull. You got to go right. after him. Yeah, you know, I think he's just doing the right thing right here. Great strategy for Larry Goose. Here's where the fight's been fought. 
again. Rushing the ropes, the better of his back is Burnaby Concepcion. Not letting him breathe, not letting Concepcion breathe. Right. Ruiz just continue going up forward. On top of him, and there's that left hook belt line from Ruiz. He's trying to bury the right hand again, and there he slices through with a combination to the head. So Ruiz shortening his shots up inside, and Concepcion looking wild. Well, he's just flat out working him, is what Ruiz is doing, and it's amazing how much you can take a guy out of his game just by keeping him busy, and that's what Ruiz has done. And Ruiz is in shape, at least. It's very early. Oh, but it goes right up and, and, right and, right and he smoked again. him again with an uppercut. He's standing uh, Concepcion straight up. Concepcion trying to push him away, but he's not moving, using the ring at all. Well, what's happening here is that Ruiz is not allowing Concepcion to put his strength on this. Sellout crowd here in Leon, Mexico. We're ringside, happy to join us. Latin Fury just getting started. You know what the effect of that round was? Ruiz won the round. He wound up giving away a point, though. Suck it up. Now look me in the eye. Body, period. And work off the body. And let the jab go. I don't want you being lazy. Raise the water. Now you know. Come on, baby. I'm telling you, you got this guy. You got him. You just gotta let those hands go. And stop crossing your feet. Left foot in front, right foot in all right, let's take a look at some of this work now. Ruiz is forcing Concepcion back and landing some good body shots. And there's that right uppercut. And right there, Gennaro, just the volume of punches that Ruiz is throwing is keeping Concepcion busy playing defense. Yeah, and, and that's a good offense for, for Ruiz. It's an offensive defensive move by Ruiz. Continue putting pressure, throw punches by constantly, and don't oh. allow Concepcion to set his feet, ground his feet, Keep on moving. Make them make them uh, get off balance somehow. 12 round super bantam weights were in the fifth. If Ruiz doesn't get gassed, he's gonna make it very uncomfortable start to finish as long as it lasts for Burnaby Concepcion, who's in the corner again. Concepcion's gotta figure out a way to find an opening here and create a little bit of space and take the heat off him. Ruiz once again just six uh, career stoppages in 25 fights. So he's no slugger by any means, but he is relentless in terms of aggression. And you got that right, uh, Nick, he obviously is going up there. He's putting this condition to work as the way he, some fighters should when, they, when they're fighting the bully, in other words. Yeah. So it's shown right here should be the bully because of the strength and the power that he has. You guys are both sitting down, and I'm glad because I'm going to tell you something. We got the what, what the scores stand at right now after four rounds. All three judges have Concepcion ahead. Oh, uh, well. They must be watching uh, in Mexico City. And that's interesting because it really is. In terms of, you know, effective aggression, uh, clean, effective punching, Ruiz is. Just landed more. He, he wins these rounds on aggression. Yeah, because I got I got Ruiz up by a point. Now Concepcion trying to get a little space, trying to create distance and, and catch Ruiz at the end of his shots like that. Concepcion's having a very good round yeah, here. He's doing it with his right hand, and now he connected with a big left. Now the hand speed's underway. Yeah, and just why is he on the ropes play. too much? You know, if he's in the middle of the ring, he's getting it done, guys. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to tell why he, he's backing up so much. I mean, there's no need. He's, there's no need for him to do that either, because what he's doing, he's wasting energy by pushing 100 and You're right. 120 pounder. And he's given Ruiz a chance to win the fight that way. Although he's not winning it, according to the score. <laughs> no, he's it's actually so adding to his lead right now. <laughs> uh, Concepcion on the way out gets clipped with a left hand, overhand right. He's really trying to unleash that right hand now. There it is, two, three, there's the hook. Well, not much of a jab from Concepcion. It's a tricky power wow. shot. Nice overhand right from him. See, this Another is the Concepcion right. that I think we expected yeah, to see. Yeah, but he's in the middle of the ring, Wally. I yep. think that's why. And, you know, it surprises me that a fighter, knowing that he got hit with a right hand, does not lift that right, that left hand up to protect it. He looks a little tired. He looks yeah, a little Concepcion tired. Is grabbing air from his mouth. I thought he was tired coming out for the Yeah, round. you called it, Wally. But his mouth is open. His hands were down. He was waiting for the referee. 
to give him a breather as we close out a spirited fifth round here in Leon, Mexico. Good right, good right. Uppercut by Concepcion to finish off the round. And a big stare down from him. He is definitely in this fight. I don't care if he's losing on the cards. He's got Concepcion's attention, guys. You know, one thing that I want to point out, and, you know, you see a little fatigue in Concepcion. We are at altitude here. No more. Did he hurt you? No, he didn't. No, he didn't hurt you. Come on. Yeah. Get the Vaseline on him, Where's the towel? Close your eyes. And Gennaro will tell us what they're saying in the corner. If I can speak Filipino, I will <laughs> <laughs> come on. Inter I mean, Tagala, in come on. I just want to put the pressure on. You. Okay. Down, down. Gennaro, right to the body and a right to the top. Where you go with the replay? There goes a, a good combination. Right up a left hook cross. Miss. There's a left hook again by Concepcion. Obviously, Reese not doing that much here to avoid that. There goes that right hand. Now, here's what I was telling you. There's a right hand again. Look where that left hand is at. He's not picking it up. There's another, uh, we didn't get to see it, but there was another right coming straight at him again. And the key thing there was they were at a distance. They were like two feet apart. Big difference. So now I'm surprised you don't know Tagala because you took us all over Mexico here. You're multilingual. You're a hero in this town. Wally got us by, didn't he? He could run for mayor <laughs> and win in a landslide. I don't right, think Concepcion. I want to get to politics. <laughs> now Concepcion, he's backed off again, but it, it, it looks like he, I was going to say, wants to wants to use the ring a little bit. But, well, he is now trying to slide off, and well, create yeah. a little space. It looked like he was ice skating over there because there's a, uh, some, a part of water over there in his corner that, you know, almost made him fall. Now, how about, how right about Ruiz? He's standing there in no man's land. He's got to close distance. And look at where his guard is at. You know, you know that that right hand is going to come in. Right there, Set him up there, double hook, and then a right hand. And that just gets uh, Luis Sporting Man. That's what he should have done with the first, the first couple of good move right there. I agree. See, whenever he comes forward, he takes Concepcion nice. right out of his attack. He's absolutely roughhousing him. I, you know, I mean, he's putting himself in, in position to win, guys. He doesn't have big power. He's not going to typically outbox Concepcion, so he's going to rough. He's going to outrough him. Let's not also forget the fatigue factor. We saw Concepcion was getting tired, and as I was saying before, we are at some altitude here, 6,000 oh. feet above sea level. And look at look, look at Ruiz taunting. But I mean, if you haven't Come spent some time here, on. that can make a difference. Psychologically, he's trying to play with with Concepcion's mind. He's trying I to get agree. him off his game plan. Not only is he not intimidated, he's the intimidator. Shoulder then, again. Of course. Look at that. <laughs> rough there house. it is right there again. Shoulder, forearms, and the referee tried. A good look. He tried. And he muscled him again. Another, another shoulder. Another elbow. Ruiz did a real smart thing right there. He did not allow the referee to stop the action. Well, <laughs> Even though he knew he was going to get a warning from the referee. Quite honestly, the referee's supposed to be a little bit more forthright in there and taking control of and the action. Yeah, but you see, when you see punches being thrown, you hit. don't want to get hit. <laughs> you know, Ruiz is just lining up Concepcion now. If he had any kind of real solid firepower, this guy would be in trouble. You know, what is he just laying in the woods? But his work rate stinks in this round, the Concepcion's. Now he's picking it up a little bit. There goes the hook. Oh, he's tired. There's no doubt. He's, he's not big throwing enough shots yet, and his mouth is open again. I don't know if he's tired. I think he's just trying to grab a grass in the air and he can get to work a little here. Closing out the six, we hit the halfway mark of our Super Bantamweight fight. Good. 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 Good hook. Ruiz doesn't look tired a bit. And look at the stare down. The right hand, you know you're gonna land the right hand. That's it. No, you talk to me. You can grab it. Come on. Stevie, do it. Come on. Where's the towel? I know. He's tired. You're beating him down. That's why. Stay on the road. Down on the road. Here you go with the nice tactics of boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Little shot here. 
to a little low blow there. Little elbow, oh, a little forearm right there. That's amazing. Or made that a shoulder blade right there. There were like three fouls there in the space of five seconds. It's just a good tactics <laughs> of good fighting of, of a good fighter who, who knows what he has to do to kind That's of open up his way a little. You know, we uh, said round it, number seven here. We said it in the first round, and I think uh, Concepcion's oh. making Ruiz's job that much easier. Why he's against the ropes? Ruiz is right where he wants to be, and he's and he's and he's getting a. A guy who's obliging and, 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 and sitting there and not using a ring at all. Well, he's trying to do it right now, but for some reason or another, the style of Concepcion doesn't allow him to maintain that because he doesn't feel comfortable fighting like that dude. Yeah. Now he's getting manhandled against the ropes again. Gennaro, I think you said the perfect word there. I don't think Concepcion has looked comfortable for more than 10 seconds at any point in this fight. You know, that has to do with the opposing or, or the rhythm of the fight that Ruiz is doing. Or, That's it. Ruiz is getting the fight he wants. You know, whether he wins or loses, he's getting the fight he wants. He's in. The, he's putting himself in position to win this fight. No, but sometimes when a fighter comes out and does something that the other guy doesn't expect, it changes the whole complexion of the fight. And I'm thinking of, like, the Glenn Johnson-Roy Jones fight. Do you remember where that fight started? Yeah. But Glenn Johnson rushed him to the ropes, and I'm sure Roy Jones didn't expect that. And the fight, ne he never really got back into the fight. Well, this guy is only 20 and uh, still a work in progress, so it's not as if adjustments would come necessarily that easy for Concepcion. So it's a good point. Oh. Ruiz trying to mug again. Cuffs him with that left hand. Oh, he's on top of Concepcion. Concepcion trying to create a little space, tries to shove him off, and eats a couple of jabs. Not a lot on it, but Concepcion got to get busier. Ruiz, the chant is up. And the crowd solidly behind him, and I would guess at home as well. Well, you know, so far, you know, Philippines have come and made it the boxing world. With Manny Pacquiao and, and several other great Filipino fighters, and sure. they're getting kind of tired that the Filipinos are kind of taking over here. Yeah, the, the hair <laughs> they're not going to allow that here well. in their town, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy guess. And now you see that Concepcion got warned for pushing, and he gives that a good right hand to the side of the table. You know, a close round could be enough to, to win this round, and pretty critical. Ah, now Concepcion getting the string shots together. But it looked, it looked like Ruiz was just waiting for an opening. That way yeah. he kind of was on. And now Concepcion shoves him back and receives a warning for it. <laughs> Roundhouse left hook from Ruiz. Ruiz walks into a left. This nice is, low left hook there by Ruiz. That's where he wants to be again. He's, <laughs> he's yeah, in down the sweet there. stop. He's in the sweet spot. Got him in the corner. Oh, good left Now hook. he gets cracked with a left yeah. hook. And, Another low blow. Big round for Concepcion. He fought the sports, but he fought effectively. Oh, good left. Spoke too soon. Yeah, good right up with the fight. Ruiz. Oh, huh? they're going in. Oh, way yeah. after the bell. And Concepcion is like, you want some more? I'm here waiting for you. Yeah, blood boiling here on a Saturday night in Mexico. You know, we've seen this referee work about five fights on the yeah. undercard. He may be a little tired, but he's not really doing a good job of taking control of this. He's getting out of hand. He's letting it get out of hand here. Yeah, you guys spoiled the suspense. We saw that card. I would have sworn that uh, that Concepcion was slightly behind through four. And now. You know, I got to say, based on that card, he's probably a couple rounds up easily. All right, let's see some more rough stuff. Well, this stuff is not in the Marcus of Queensberry rules, what they're going to do here. <laughs> but that's been pretty much the story of the fight. Two good right hands by Concepcion. Three right there. Excellent. Here goes a little bit of There's a, another right right there, but good right up. Good. Uh, there we go, a little pushing here by Concepcion. Obviously, we didn't get to see too much of the roughing knife there. But you know what? The only, the only fighter that got warned in that round was Concepcion. So who'd you give the round to? I see Gennaro gave it to Ruiz. I gave it to Concepcion. Me I too. Think, Me I too. think it's a hard fight to score, honestly. Oh, nice body shot from Concepcion. So they fight inside. Concepcion just doesn't want to back off, and Ruiz is happy to oblige. He's in his face. You know what? I think I gave it to the... 
to Ruiz. Maybe because, you know, towards the end of the round, he landed the better shots. Yeah, he did well. land real good shots and at the end. Not, most of the time, the judges are judges looking at towards the last 10 seconds. Oh, yeah. really right. believe, now you start <laughs> to <laughs> really believe that. Now we're going to die. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Myth the reality. I don't know. The judges would say sometimes no. Sometimes you never know yeah. what they're You're trying at. to think like them, <laughs> huh? I guess sometimes, you know. <laughs> Now, a little bit of leaning on each other. One of the few clinches we've seen. Remember the bad blood that erupted before the, uh, just at the end of the seventh round, but now in the eighth here. Both guys slowed down a little bit. Concepcion leaning against the ropes. And look at the, look at the hits. They're head to head right there. You yeah. saw that little Bang, shoulder little effect. Body, oh, yeah. yeah. It's like a body check from Ruiz. Right. But you know, the heads are constantly together, so that's actually rubbing face to face. So eventually it's going to create some swatting around the eyes. I'm amazed that nobody's been cut yet. They banged heads a bunch of times. Boy, but I don't think there's any doubt Concepcion is tired. I think that left to the body right now just hurt Concepcion. Concepcion, yeah. Now Southpaw goes through, he's inside. Why, he's like, I don't know. He, he walks into a shot that way. So it was completely ineffective switching. In fact, he paid the price. Yeah, he Man. God, is he tired. Concepcion stumbling around the ring a little bit. Oh. Nice. As we oh, say, it, he uppercut. turned beautifully. What a perfect move. And he's saying, you know what, hit me. I, I yeah, don't he think is. he'll get there. You know, I mean, this, he's just a much more mobile guy on paper. Wow, that was a sweet move from Concepcion. That's what he needs to do right now again, right there. there. With the lift. There it there is. There it is, all right. But yeah, now, again. now switch it to the other side with the lift. That's what he should have done. Yeah, he's definitely but he, the more mobile guy. Oh, yeah, he, and, but he's allowing Ruiz to impose his weight on top. Absolutely. Of so, of course, he's going to get tired. But it's made for a highly entertaining fight. Oh, definitely. Two-way action, close. Concepcion, right hand, wow. left hook. That lift almost got it. Yeah. Almost, they didn't get him good. So the right opened up that left hook. Now the jab from Concepcion, they jab together. Misses from Ruiz, getting a little sloppy. He's trying to land that left. We haven't seen a big right hand from uh, Ruiz in a while. He was scoring effectively in the body earlier. And now he's going to work. Last seconds of this eighth round. Non-stop action here in Leon, Mexico. Latin Fury. They're trying to throw up against up the middle. All right, round eight action. You see that here's Concepcion landing some really good shots this round. I thought he was actually, after he looked tired, he was crisper with his punches. I thought that any time in the fight in that round. Yeah, it was some good shots landed. Obviously, he did what he was supposed to do a long time ago, and that was sidestep and counter, which were good, good counter punches right there by Concepcion. Man, they want Concepcion's corner out. He has taken his time getting off the stool. Telltale sign, perhaps, fellas. And I'm just surprised that the referee hasn't gone over there to tell the corner to wipe that, that water off the, of the canvas here. All right, I got the eighth round update here. WBC official scorecards through eighth. Concepcion ahead by three points on two cards, up by two points on the third. Not surprising. Actually, I must say, I have him up by one on my very unofficial card. All right, don't kill the suspense. <laughs> you got information, you got to give it. He's barreling forward. Concepcion trying to unload power shots. Wow, he just get mugged him into the corner. That was a battering ram move. Concepcion now sticking the jab, working off that jab, creating distance to set up that right hand. Some of those shots were by, but uh, at least he's going to make Ruiz perhaps think twice and reset. You notice Ruiz not coming forward quite as quickly as he was earlier in the fight. Concepcion actually may be getting a little bit stronger. <laughs> oh, 
Now there's Concepcion telling the referee, you know what? He's hitting him with his hand. And very, very few warnings to Ruiz. Okay, Ruiz can't possibly know he's behind on the cards. What does he have to fine tune? What is he capable of changing at this point, fellas? Oh, capable, I don't think he should do much changes other than just to get that guard up a little higher. Yeah. Uh, well, and not do a lot of dirty tactics because obviously they oh, there you go. Take the point. Take the point away. And you know what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I think that the referee, Gelasio Perez, has been a lot tougher on Concepcion than on Ruiz. Well, he did take away a punch from, from Ruiz earlier. Now, Ruiz yeah, earlier yeah. So yeah but he's, if you did, like, foul stat, I think that Ruiz would be way ahead. And there's that forearm. You saw the forearm with yep. his face? Well, you know, now that we know uh, who's ahead, we could say that with that point deduction, you now this could turn in, if Ruiz could steal this round, he could come within a point because he could make it a 10-8 round. And he was down three, now he'll be down one. Right. With, with three to go. That's if he wins the round, which right, is what I'm saying. not yeah. guaranteed at this moment. No, not at all, but I'm saying that it may not take a lot. It's certainly there for either guy. Oh, wow. that is a good hook there. I don't there. think he won the round, but if he got Concepcion. a 9-9 out of it. I'll give it a 9-9. Yes, yeah, so Concepcion is... Uh, you know, marking time, and uh, Ruiz is running out of clock. Three big rounds left here. You're going to the body. Fake like the body for the overhead line. Hard. Body. Body. Hey, come on, deep breath. Look at me. Look at him. He's all yours. It's up to you. It's all yours. Got it? It's up to you. Either you're gonna bust his ass all the way from here. You're down by two points. I don't wanna lose that way. All right, let's take a look at some round nine. Larry Goosen knows what the score is. He just told his man you're down by two points. You'll see the two of them shoving shoulders against one another. A lot of missing punches in that round, but I thought Concepcion landed enough to win it. There's a little headlock, but then he would still be up ahead three, huh? Well, it's only on my card. I have oh, no idea the what they did. Well, their other card, but yeah. Their other card, they had him up three going into that round. And if it was a point deduction. But if they gave it to Ruiz, right. it would stay the same. Well, I got a little close. I got an 85, 84. I would agree. I, I don't see how anybody could say that this is a so I have this is a lopsided fight. Now, I have an 85-84 for Concepcion. You have? Yeah, absolutely competitive. Now Concepcion for fighting. Yeah. You see that? It's a point for him. I, I think that, you know, he's constantly putting the pressure going forward, looking for the fight, throwing punches. I mean, yeah, he's, land, he's not landing all the shots flush, but he is pushing the fight. So maybe that's the reason why I'm giving him certain rounds. And Larry Goosen telling Ruiz it's, it's his for the taking. They wanted to land that right hand. Maybe faint, but landed upstairs. He was landing it downstairs early. Well, let, let me just get this straight. Randy, I mean, Larry Goosen says uh, you're down by two points, but this fight is yours. Does that mean he expects a knockout? Yeah, well, I guess he thinks that uh, Concepcion is fading, fading fast. But, you know, he's almost fought at the same pace for the last six rounds, Concepcion. Well, he just got hit with a good right hand right there. Concepcion landed a good right hand, and obviously he hasn't shown any punches until right now. He's two punches now. Well, he's not waiting on Ruiz. Ruiz is throwing very little, and it gives Concepcion the opportunity to unload. Hey, right there, you hit the ears. I mean, you can't hit the face, hit the ears. You ain't hitting the body. Make him come lift that guard up by hitting the ears. Doubling that hook. A little bit of elbow action as he slides it up. Hook to the body. And Concepcion answers with a little uppercut. See, the one thing that the judges, you know, the only thing I can think of why the judges had Concepcion so far ahead early is that they're not really giving Ruiz credit for those pity pats inside. And they're giving a lot more credit to Concepcion for those uppercuts and left hooks. So bigger the, the uh, Which is actually not the right way to score uh, a fight, quantity. I think. Yeah, so it's quality punching? Yes, effective punching. And this is, this is all Concepcion has to do right here. Throw that jab. He landed four straight jabs already. And uh, Ruiz has not been able to avoid it. No, I, yeah. I think Ruiz puts himself in every round. Sheer aggression. You know, on aggression, he, puts, he gives himself a shot to win. Uh, right there, 
just got he just walked into a lip hook. Look with, look with his hands on it. Look with his defense on it. Okay, you got a good, you can take a good punch. That doesn't mean that eventually your body's not going to give way and it's going to get dropped or get hurt. Oh, oh well, that that good right side. Concepcion. There's that right. That finds the right mark now. And Ruiz has run out of punching power, it seems. Well, he didn't bring very much in. There oh, oh, another right hand. hand. Another Ruiz right hand. is hurt. Yeah, he got caught with two with three right hands. And right Brown's going to save him. The durable guys, we said he has never been stopped. That was huge for Concepcion. Enough to salt okay. it away, huh? Huh? with two to go, ten. perhaps. 11, 12 coming up. Suck it up, push it down. Perhaps. <laughs> water, all over water. I'll get the part. Johnny, keep working his body. That overhand right, but look, you get on the inside, uppercut. Okay. Take, take, take. Take, take. Right, let's take a look at what happened here. You see, there's that big right hand by Concepcion. Ruiz almost goes down from it, survives the round, as you said, because luckily for him, there was about 10 seconds to go in the round. There it is from another angle. And if, you, and if you look where that punch hit him, it didn't hit him on the jaw. It hit him like right on the ear. Mm -hmm. And that equilibrium, that equilibrium got him unbalanced right there. Yeah, Ruiz for the first time looks really, really not spent, but he looks gassed a little bit. Well, and Nick, knowing what we know about the scorecards through eight anyway, Ruiz is going to have to do something that he has only done six times in 25 fights right. and that score KO. Doubtful, not impossible. He's just got to keep punching. But that took a lot out of him. That punishment down the stretch in the last round. The 11th. A beautiful tight left hook by Concepcion. And he's lucky he didn't get enough room for that right hand. But it's been a real good fight. I mean, you know, we, we had some dirty tactics. We landed some good shots. Obviously, Ruiz continues to put the pressure on, but I think it's kind of kind of died down a little for him because, it, you know, of course. You have to give him a ton of credit to even try to fight that kind of fight against Concepcion. Yeah, a lot of heart. And, you know, he's getting out skilled. There's no doubt about it. I think the more skillful guy is Concepcion. The faster hands. Oh, he's a stronger guy. And yeah, definitely. Oh, good right uppercut by Concepcion. Yeah, Concepcion fighting him close now is very little on Ruiz's shots. You know, it's really remarkable, too, when you think back to how tired Concepcion looked around rounds five, six, seven for this fight. He you know, so so the fight was looked tired. And, you know, something that, that, I, that I'm finding kind of dangerous for this to be doing is throwing that right to the body, because look at that elbow of Concepcion. He sticks it out, and Ruiz is forcefully trying to land a shot there. He's going to land up hurting his head. Ah, now Concepcion fairly effective off the ropes. Those elbows those are pretty pressures. hard, huh? <laughs> well, that's, a, that's the kind of observation only a fighter would come up with. Because you know what it feels like to hit that. It's a low forearm push. <laughs> Get out of my way. A little low right there with that button, with that shot to the body, supposedly by Ruiz. Concepcion's going to smile there, yeah. yeah. He's in his corner, he's smiling. Sense, uh, something coming from him. Double left hand. Yeah, Ruiz uh, definitely looking more fatigued. And while he touched that conception, maybe he's getting much needed, uh, able to rest in a, at least in spurts here in this 11th. You know, you watch him with three straight jabs, but that's all he does. He just pushes Concepcion in, and then he wants to lean on him. And he soaks up a body shot. Concepcion hammering away with the right hand pretty effectively. Body and head. A little head movement from Concepcion. And Ruiz reaching with some shots. Brushes Concepcion with a wild hook. With a round to go. Crowd liking it here. Hope you're enjoying it home. Or wherever you're watching Latin Fury tonight. Come on, you got this fight. 
Look at me, Dan. This is what I want. All out. Shut it. Calm down. What did he say? All out. All out. Last round. Got it? This is for the title. But you can hear it. Boom, boom. They went on the dope punches. Up the middle with uppercuts. Overhand right. Twelfth and final round here in Leon, Mexico. We're underway. Latin Fury. A lot more to come. What well, we heard in this corner. Last round. Give it all you got. It's his only shot. <laughs> what what has time. he been doing so far? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what more can they ask of this man? Probably a knockout. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, I think the real difference in the fight, guys, has just been the fact that Ruiz is not a puncher, and we knew this coming in. I mean, it's a really valiant effort to try to outslug Concepcion, especially when you can't match him for power. But I, I think Ruiz came out with the right plan, you know. Yeah. Make, make him fight. Try to get him tired. Hopefully, you know, you get him tired enough where you can actually impose your style on him. I think the difference has been the skill well. I just think Concepcion's a more skillful guy. And Ruiz has never stopped trying. I give him a boatload of heart. I give him points for that. Yeah. Moral victory, whatever you want to say, but it's a little bit of being outclassed, right? Well, I, I'm telling you, I think it's out being outpowered because, quite frankly, the guy who's been affected by the punchers more has been Ruiz. Yeah. And I, like you said, I, I don't think he was out, out, outclassed or, or anything like that. It's just a lack of power that he's has. The fight has been real good. Uh, Ruiz has landed some shots. But the concept John almost slipped on his, on his own water right there. And you got to take advantage. When you're a fighter and you're down like that, you got to take advantage. Rich. And it's the corner's fault if he would have got dropped for not cleaning that no one. Concepcion's own corner is right. <laughs> now they're going to take a point away from Ruiz just to make things better for him. Yeah, just to make it harder with a minute to go. And they're giving a warning to Concepcion. You do the same thing, and Bob Aaron Bob is standing up. He's living. Yeah. Well, he should be, because you know what? This fight's been out of control for most of the 12 rounds. Don't try to be a cop now. It's a little bit too late. And of course, you can hear the crowd saying some nice things to the referee. <laughs> But what was that referee had his back turned as Ruiz fell between the ropes? And he's taking a point away from Concepcion. Oh, for God's sake. So this is going to be a 6-6 six, six round, This right? is a little too late. Absolutely. Okay. Oh. You know, he allowed a lawless society to take hold here, and now he's trying to uh -huh. recapture it. off the tape. Please, not now. I know. Please. I, <laughs> I just call him like I see him. <laughs> Good left hook right there, Madrid. May Concepcion miss two wild left hooks. And only 10 seconds left. Hey, this has been a wildly entertaining fight for a lot of reasons. Whoa. Nice uppercuts by Concepcion. Uh, 12 round super bantamweight fight. One Ruiz won the crowd. Burnaby Concepcion. In all probability won the fight. I have no idea. I guess that's a 9-8 round for somebody. <laughs> I gave it to Concepcion. I'm, I'm with you. Oh yeah. Just win, baby. <laughs> All right, we'll wait for the decision here. My numbers came up 113, 111, Concepcion. I got 113 for Concepcion as well, too. With all the fouls, I thought we were being double digits. I know. <laughs> that was just bizarre at the very end.
Let's take a look at some replays from that round. And again, you know, count the fouls. You probably see more fouls than punches. And this one, Concepcion loses the point for pushing uh, Ruiz down with his forearm. And a few seconds later, we'll see the referee return the favor. But I mean, it was it was a calculated risk that Ruiz took to try to outslug Concepcion. And it looked like it was working early no in the doubt. fight, but after a while, the, the stronger, harder puncher generally takes over, and I think that's what happened here. He had the range he wanted. He was in his face. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta you gotta give it to Ruiz. You know, Fabulous he, he, he effort. Did, he tried. Great he effort. Tried, he had big heart. He let, He got here with some good shots. He took them. He continued going forward. And Concepcion, obviously, we thought he was going to get worn out, but he withstood the storm, like we would say. And he actually, you know, storm is the word because in the middle of the fight, I thought he was ready to drop from exhaustion. Well, there we see Ruiz uh, waiting for the decision, hoping that he gets a decision. But it looks very, very difficult for him. Let's All go right. to Jimmy. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. now. Ladies and gentlemen, Damas y Caballeros, tras de dos rounds, tenemos una decisión unánime. We have a unanimous decision. El juez Jorge Guerra Galván tiene la pelea 114, 111. Pablo Díaz y José Juan Guerra tienen la pelea 114 a 112 a favor del ganador Bernabé Concepción. Juan Guerra Galván scores it out 114-111. Jose Crowd Juan hates Guerra it, but a win. Well, a win as Concepción moves to 24-1 one and 1. Let's face it, Ruiz, you know, is the hometown guy fighting again uh, in front of his countrymen. Of course they're going to hate it. It's a close fight. Right. But I think they got it right. And you know, we weren't off. We were, we were, you know, by two points. And the judges actually gave it by two points as yeah. well. So, or, we were like 131. So we were then off. <laughs> Bernabe Concepción, a winner here in Leon, Mexico. Coming up, the name Chavez, magical here, anywhere in Mexico. Well, Omar Chavez, youngest son of Julio Cesar Chavez. De Jose Suleiman, Supervisor Alberto Reyes. Introducing our judges at ringside, presentando a los jueces, Pablo Diaz, Jorge Guerra Galvan, y Juan Jose Guerra. A referee in charge, y el árbitro, Gelacio Perez. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the NABF Super Bantamweight Championship. Bien, amigos, 12 asaltos por el campeonato de la Federación Norteamericano. Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with purple trim. He weighed in at 119 pounds. Presentando al retador en la esquina azul, vestido en pantalón negro y pesando 54 kilos, 100 gramos. His record, 21 wins, four losses, with six wins coming by way of knockout. Con un record de 21 victorias y cuatro derrotas, tiene seis ganadas por knockout. Demos la bienvenida al retador de Santa Clarita, California, y León, Guanajuato, Mexico, Juan, el Fénix Ruiz. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim. He weighed in at 122 pounds. Y su rival, el campeón en la esquina roja, con pantalón negro con franja de oro, pesando 55 kilos, 300 gramos. His record, 23 wins, one loss, and one draw, with 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Tiene un record de 23 victorias, una derrota y un empate con 13 ganadas por knockout. Here is the defending NABF Super Bantamweight Champion from Rizal in the Philippines. Demos la bienvenida al campeón Bernabe Concepcion. 
Y aquí está el referí Gelasio Pérez. El ador. Bueno, pues ya les di las indicaciones. Vamos a hacer una pelea emotiva de acuerdo a su categoría, no golpeándose abajo ni con la cabeza ni en la nuca. Dense la mano que gane el mejor. Dense. Jorge. Here we go, Leon Mexico, Nick Charles, Gennaro Hernandez, Wally Matthews, ringside and ready to go. Bernabe Concepcion, 11 by the WBC, ranked uh, 12th by the WBO, just 20 years old. We've seen him before, a very impressive, aggressive counterpuncher, he calls himself. Still a work in progress, though. Well, the other thing that he is, Nick, is a guy who likes to fight in close. I'm kind of surprised that Ruiz, who the record tells us is not really a puncher, is choosing to fight in close with Concepcion. This As we look, tail of the tape here. And Gennaro, we pick up tail of the tape. Concepcion, just 20, Ruiz 29. Very close. Of course, Concepcion, a true super phantom at 122. Ruiz, a little light for this one. And unified rules of boxing apply here in Mexico. As we pick it up, 10 point must, of course. No three knockdown, no standing eight. Can't be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight. And in case of an accidental foul, they go to the scorecards after the fourth round happens before. It's a no decision. We are ready to go now. As we look at Barnaby Concepcion from the Philippines. We've seen him before. Let's get the official introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, good evening and welcome. Y a todos mis amigos mexicanos, bienvenidos, aficionados al box. Al domo de la feria en León, Guanajuato, México. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a big night of action coming your way. Así, Ruge León is brought to you by Top Rank Incorporated, along with Promociones Sanfer, the state of Guanajuato, and the government of León and Tecate. At this time, we present an NABF title attraction, sanctionada por el CMB president. Seems to be where Concepcion loves to fight. Well, his new trainer, Larry Goosen, said he wants him really basically to pin his head to the chest of Concepcion and get inside and stay inside. Interesting theory. Yeah, because he's certainly not a power puncher. But in Ruiz's favor, he is definitely a durable guy, never been stopped but just six KOs in 25 fights. Well, right away, as soon as the bell rang, the first thing he did was go right after Concepcion, so that kind of showed the, the rhythm he was going to try and impose on Concepcion, which, by the way, Wally and Nick, if you look at the shoes of Concepcion, he has the name of Pac-Man, ah. Manny Pacquiao. Well, he's his co-manager, I suppose, right? Well, yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's, so. in, he's in the mix there. Yeah, nice right hand from Concepcion. Does this play into Concepcion's? You know, Concepcion's aggressive, but he says he's hey, a counterpuncher, oh, so let Ruiz come to him, Did right? You see that? Yeah. That was leading with your head. Oh. That was flagrant, I would say. They should have taken a point away from him right yeah, there. That was a flagrant foul. Concepcion, big time with the left hook. But again, to amplify that point. With Ruiz coming on, he's using Ruiz's aggression against him nicely. He's really timing those rushes. Concepcion on the left. Letting Ruiz come to him, and now left hook keeps him away. Now we see Concepcion get on the jab. Double hook. 
Ruiz walking him without punching. Mistake, huh? Well, he's covered up pretty good. He's using good left, uh, his own good right hand there. Right hand. And I think that's the reason why they wanted to stay in close. To he smother. didn't want, yes, to smother the power from Concepcion. But he should be punching on the way out a little bit. Oh. Now he is. That's a dangerous philosophy, though. I mean, I, I know exactly what you're saying, Gennaro, but it, it's just, it's really chancy because if he gets the distance wrong, he gets nailed like he just did. I think Concepcion's loving this type of fight. Well, you know, you, you gotta, uh, with a, with a fight like Concepcion, who, who likes to be fighting at his distance and not get smothered, sometimes you want to make a fight a little dirty, that way you can kind of throw him off his game plan. And I think that's what Ruiz is trying to do right now. Yeah, but Ruiz, there to be hit, boy, it's just, Trying that left hand a little bit now, but trying to pull his way in and trying to pin his head to the chest of Concepcion. So he has gotten inside. He's staying there. And he's, not, and he's actually using his shoulder. Shoulder, shoulder yeah. right. Well, a good round for Concepcion. Even though he came out with the bloody nose. Well, yeah. I thought it was a hard round to score, quite honestly. Boy. Big right hand by Concepcion, but otherwise, you know, a lot of aggression from from Ruiz. I'll go Concepcion. Yeah, me too. I don't think it was effective at all. And I like a couple of left hooks that Concepcion landed too. And now the attendant had cut in the corner. And Larry Goosen urging Ruiz not just to walk in straight. Be a little bit more elusive. That's your name, okay? He's doing it to you. Right? Nice. I like that with the head like you did. That was cool. You know, Ruiz never really had a, a full-time trainer until no now. Now take a look at some of the first round action. And you see that Concepcion, clearly the heavier puncher, loves to rip to the body. And we'll see that. Uh, I believe we're going to see the right hand. But you see that Ruiz... Not afraid, and he was using the elbow, as you said, Gennaro, but firing right in there with Concepcion, which could turn out to be very, very dangerous. Oh. And look at that, look at the stool they had right there for their fighter, for Concepcion. Yeah. Cushion. <laughs>